Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm filming this video to show you how I do multi-page authentication scripts using curl. Specifically, I had this need to automate my crossword downloading process, right? I like doing the crossword every morning, uh, but I like doing it on paper instead of, you know, digitally on my computer or my phone. So I was getting really tired of having to go download the PDF and print it out every single day. Uh, so I decided to script it out and automating, uh, automate it using just bash scripting and uh, particularly using curl, which is a command line tool that amongst other things does HTTP web requests really well. And I thought this was an interesting example because it's not just your basic curl demo, right? Where you point it to some URL and it downloads the file. Um, this kind of multi-step authentication, um, not to confuse with like two-factor authentication, but like a multi-page authentication with several web requests um, is maybe a little bit more difficult than you typically see in curl demos. So I thought I would make a video to share uh, what goes on. So to start out, I'm gonna just show you what the regular login process looks like. So here we have the New York Times crossword website. You could see, right, you can't kind of play the crossword unless you are a subscriber, you pay for it. Um, so we'll take a look at this login screen here. And the first page of the login screen, right, and this will actually be our first request for curl, is to get this, um, you know, we're gonna type in our email address. But before we even do that, I wanna just pull up the developer tools for the browser and show you on this page one feature um, that exists in here. So somewhere in the HTML source code, right, if we take a look at it, there we go. You will see that in here there's this uh, string for this auth token. So what this is is a form of cross-site request forgery protection or CSRF you may see it um, more commonly kind of written as and what that does is it helps you know web servers uh, try to make sure that the request that is being made is, is intended and not kind of uh, processed maybe from uh, some other means. So the first thing that we'll have to do, kind of the first request we'll use with curl is to actually just load this login form so we can scrape this auth token. So after we do that, right, so that's our first request. Our second request will be just kind of going to this email address here. And before I hit continue, I'll just show you, right, it's kind of weird how this page is built. There's several multiple requests here. So if I and I you know type in my email address and I hit continue, you can actually see behind the scenes, even though this page looks like it doesn't change, right? It pops up the password field, obviously. Um, but there was a post request that uh, hit this authorized email endpoint. Um, and we can dig through it and kind of figure out what, what parameters and stuff were passed. Um, I'll save you some of the time and just show you what those are in a second. But if you've never kind of gone through this process using developer tools, you can you know pull these up, look at these requests, and kind of see all the information about that request. And you can kind of see here's our auth token that was sent um, along with these other parameters with my email and form view. And so that's our second request. And then finally, right, the third request is after we type in you know the the password there, and I hit log in. We'll see one more request go through, and now I'm authenticated, I'm redirected to the site, and I'm able to view the crossword, right? Um, and then there's other links I could do to print it as a PDF or whatever. So how do we get this to work using curl? Let me pull up my demo folder here. And so the first thing we wanna do, right, is with curl, um, I'm actually just gonna set this date parameter uh, real quick, because this is one of the dates we need for one of the uh, requests in our URL and just to kind of show you what that variable looks like, right? So it's just today's date, January 10th. Um, and if I try to access the web page, right, here's our simple curl demo uh, with our variableized date in the URL, uh, this thing fails, right? So we get an error, not found. It's basically that's happening because our, um, even though our web request in our browser is authenticated and there's some cookies saved and stuff, um, curl is a, a totally separate uh, space where it's running that. So there's no cookies associated with it. There's no, you know, th these requests in my terminal window here haven't been um, authenticated yet. And so we get, uh, a, you know, an error message from the time site saying we're not authorized to view that uh, PDF document with the crossword download. So similar to what we did before, 
first thing we gotta do is grab our auth token, scrape it from the page. So I have this piece of code here, right? Here's our curl command. Um, and I'll actually, these first two parameters, this, these dash C and dash B, these two arguments here, what they're doing is basically saying, take any, any cookies that are sent from, um, you know, the web server to, uh, to our browser, or in this case, our, our command line endpoint, save them into this cookies text file in the current folder. And then for, you know, for the subsequent request, if there already is a cookies.txt file, uh, go ahead and, um, you know, attach that to the, the request to the website. So we're basically, um, you know, using these two flags to persist uh, the cookies within uh, each of our HTTP web requests. We're creating a session, and I guess so those, those cookies are just kind of staying around um, for each request in that session. Um, so that's what those two arguments are for. And then we have our endpoint, right? We just pulled that out of the, the network tools. Um, and then we have some, some code here, a regex expression to actually parse out that auth token. So if we run that, we should see, uh, whoops. We should see right here's that kind of random auth token CSRF, you know, protection value here. Uh, you'll see sometimes there's these kind of HTML um, sanitized uh, values here. So what I'm actually going to do is one more piece of code to run that there. And if we go ahead and look again right now, those HTML encoded uh, values are just equal signs. And by the way, all of this code is available in the description below. So don't feel like you have to kind of watch and copy paste. You can just click on the link to get the full script, um, you know, from the link in the description below. All right. So with that set, we just, you know, did our first web request that is obtaining this auth token. And so then the next thing that happened was we had to type in our email address and submit that. So here we have the same thing, right? We're gonna run our curl command. We're gonna pass those cookies along. Um, you know, in this case, it's a post request. We have some email, um, we have some additional parameters here that are part of that request that we're gonna pass in as a JSON string, um, including our auth token variable, my email address variable, um, which I set before I started recording. Um, and you know this enter email value needed to be passed in you know to this URL and I'm just passing a header saying hey this is this is JSON um, content so we run that we get this message back presumably that is successful um, that's when the password field would kind of pop up on the screen and so this is where we would you know our next step is typing in the password and then finally hitting like the login button or whatever so this is the curl command that mim mimics that request so we're we're kind of passing along those cookies once again from our text file it's a post request we have some different variables here you can see our email our auth token and finally our password uh, to log us in that's getting sent to this url and then there's a bunch of these headers that get passed along i honestly don't know if all of them are needed or what all of them do i was just kind of lazy and took all of them um from the the network tab uh, i didn't feel like going through them one at a time to make my code more concise to see what would work and what didn't i just kind of took them all and, and passed them along so you know with that said they're all there um you know common sense but as this website changes i'll have to update this script because this will likely break in the future but for now if we submit this command we should see right we get our uh, kind of success message from the time site saying hey redirect us to this login um, so now I've been fully authenticated and those cookies are stored. So if I try that same command that I did at the start of the video, um, just this time kind of passing in my cookies from my uh, cookies.txt file, and I'm going to save that to a PDF document. If we run that, we get, you know, no error message. And if we actually check, we see we downloaded that crossword PDF file, um, since that's what we decided to output in that above command. So, um, as part of my daily process, I put this script, I just kind of uh, set up a cron job to run it every day at 7 a.m. to be able to download the most you know, recent that day's crossword puzzle. And I then run a command to just print it out. Um, so when I go eat my breakfast, I can grab the, the crossword puzzle from the printer and work on that while I eat. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you found this kind of multi-page authentication process interesting. 
I know when I was starting out with kind of understanding web requests and how curl works, it wasn't straightforward uh, to me how to do these kind of multi page requests in a single uh, curl session. Um, so if you found this video useful, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, that way you'll be notified of future videos as well. And like I said, all the code is down in the description below linked to in my blog and on my GitHub page. So you can download that script for yourself. Um, and that's it until next time. Thanks.